Have you ever done everything you could to change yourself or give up your happiness to make a woman happy? For example, you might give up a hobby you enjoy because she wants you to spend time on a different plan she came up with. You slowly lose important friendships because you try to fit into her mold. She's happy when you spend time with them, but take a moment to ask yourself if that happiness is really valuable or if it's just a sentence you put on yourself to fit the mold others expect of you. Sacrifice isn't always bad, but when it's done without thinking, it can blur your image and make you lose your sense of self-worth in the eyes of others. This is where Stoic philosophy shines a light. Shedding light on the truth that being wise isn't just about making choices, it's also about being able to read and accept what isn't said directly. Romanticism, but not letting it get in the way of reason. True love isn't about giving in to every request. It's about knowing how to respect and set limits. Today we're going to go on an adventure deep into the heart of Stoic thought and use the eight things you should never do for women. These lessons don't just make you aware of the secret risks of hurting yourself to help others. They also teach you how to avoid them, to being yourself and staying true to yourself without losing self-worth in the eyes of others. If you're ready for today's lesson, I have a challenge for you. Stay tuned and don't miss a single one of these eight lessons. Just one of them will help you set the boundaries you need so no one can make you feel like you have to change to be loved. If you're ready, leave a comment and I'll see you in the first music lesson. Failure to care for your own growth is the first lesson. Growth as a person. Imagine for a moment that you are on a road that is marked by goals, and the journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. Around every corner and turn on this road are chances to become stronger, wiser, and more complete. This is why, in Stoic philosophy, pursuing and fostering personal development is seen as one of the most important keys to a happy and fulfilling life. When you give up your own growth to please someone else, you're not only giving up a part of yourself, you're also missing out on the chance to become the best version of yourself. Stoic philosophy tells us that staying true to our values and always trying to get better is not only a sign of self-respect, but also the key to building healthy, long-lasting relationships. People need to care for others and take care of themselves at the same time. As you go through life, remember that personal growth is not only your duty, it's also the best gift you can give yourself and those around you. Only when we become the best versions of ourselves do we have the strength and vision to inspire others, encourage positive change, and help our community and society grow as a whole. Spiritual independence and personal freedom are important parts of being human. Sometimes in the whirlwind of relationships, we may be so drawn to the need to be loved and accepted that we unknowingly give up our identity and our freedom in exchange for a weak and fragile emotion. But what's important is not giving up relationships or low, seeing how important it is to stay independent while still liking and caring for the woman. Number two, losing your independence. Picture a picture that losing your freedom. From the tiniest strokes to the brightest colors, they all show a spirit of freedom that isn't limited by anything but the artist's burning desire to shine. It shows independence, which is an important value in Stoic philosophy and something we should always work to maintain and grow. But in a love relationship, there's a trap that many men fall into without meaning to. They lose their independence when they're with a woman. Stoic philosophy says that independence is more than just not being controlled by other people. It also means being able to self-manage and consciously and meaningfully lead one's own life. People believe that independence gives them inner strength and is necessary for a happy, worthwhile life. When we give up our independence, when we try to please other people, we not only give up our own power, but we also risk losing who we are. Take Alex, a man who is ambitious and independent. Alex loves writing and wants to become a writer, but when he starts dating Sam, a woman who always wants Alex's attention and care, he starts to ignore his writing. Eventually, he stops writing altogether so that he can spend all of his free time with Sam. In his quest to please others, Alex not only loses his independence but also the creative drive that keeps him alive. Eventually, Alex realizes that he has lost an important part of himself and decides to start over and rediscover the value of independence and personal freedom. Like Alex, when you lose your independence, you not only put yourself at risk but also lose 
your source of inspiration and inner strength. This is why in Stoic philosophy, stay true to your values, keep learning and growing, and remember that your confidence and ability to do things on your own are what make you strong at all times. Join the intellectual conversation and debate with us. Do you know of any famous quotes by Stoic thinkers that talk about gaining and keeping independence? Let's talk about this in the comments. Not caring about the reason for passion for passion epicus, the famous Stoic philosopher advised us not to become slaves to our emotions. Instead, he urged us to become their masters, guiding our lives with wisdom and broad vision. This advice is especially important when it comes to relationships, where the strong currents of passion can wash away the strong anchors of reason. In this study, we will look at the dangerous road of giving up reason for passion, reveal the dangerous secrets, and show how stoic wisdom can help you stay calm in the midst of passion and emotion. Often recit is overshadowed by the power of emotions, we find ourselves ends snared in the seductive allure of desire relinquishing control to our primal instincts in moments of emotional upheaval. We are prone to set aside reason, in favor of impulsive actions driven by blind emotion. However, as we pursue the intense gratification that often ends in disillusionment and regret, we begin to realize the folly of our ways the objects of our passion once viewed through the rose-tinted lens of desire reveal themselves as mere shadows devoid of substance or lasting value we. When we chase short-lived pleasures thinking they are real happiness, we get stuck in a circle of expectation and dissatisfaction. For example, Lucius was a young man who fell in love with Claudia and was captivated by her radiant beauty. In order to follow the rules of his passion, Lucius ignores the counsel of reason. He gives Claudia expensive presents and gives up his own goals to meet her needs, all in the name of love. But over time, Lucius starts to feel the weight of his decisions, the emptiness of a life without a goal or purpose. Claudia, who used to be the object of his adoration, is now a powerful reminder of how foolish he was and a stark warning of the dangers of giving up reason for passion in a relationship. The temptation to give up reason for passion is always there, luring us with pleasure and desire, but only the steady wisdom of Stoicism can we get through the treacherous waters unscathed. By cultivating clarity of thought and steadfastness of purpose, we open the way to true satisfaction. Where past before I learned about Stoic philosophy, I thought that being able to control my feelings showed that I was strong and tough. But now I know that hiding and stifling our natural emotions is not always the best thing to do, a smart choice. We are taught that controlling our emotions is a sign of strength, but in reality, it can be a cruel way to hide our real feelings, which can hurt our minds and our relationships. Number four, keeping your feelings in. A lot of us look for when we hold back our feelings, especially when it comes to relationships with women, it's usually because we think that in order to be loved, we need to look perfect and have no flaws. But Stoicism teaches us that the strength and freedom of the soul lie in understanding, accepting, and expressing our feelings honestly and maturely. Holding back our feelings not only hides the truth about who you are, but it also leads to insecurity. Connection while putting mental stress and heavy feelings on you that slowly shape you into shapes you don't want. Stoicism doesn't tell us to shut down our feelings. Instead, it teaches us how to accept and understand them from a neutral point of view and how to control them through reason and self-control instead of repressing them. By learning to control our emotions, we not only improve our ability to solve problems and deal with challenges, but we also gain a deeper understanding and empathy for ourselves and others. Expressing our emotions honestly and consciously is a sign of courage. Lastly, Stoicism encourages us to be at peace with our emotions and see them as lessons about ourselves in life. When we do this, we become more in control of our lives and more kind and generous with those around us. Now we want to hear from you. Have you ever felt like you had to hide your emotions to please other people? What do you think about using Stoic principles to deal with your emotions? Play music, leave your ideas and stories in the comments section below. Together, we can learn to be more mentally strong 
and build relationships that are healthier and more real. People today often feel like they have to give up their freedom to make others happy, especially in relationships. But Stoic philosophy says that freedom is not only a right, but also a state of mind that gives people the strength and encouragement they need to live a meaningful life. Join me as we talk about why it's important to not give up your freedom, especially when it comes to relationships with women, and how Stoic philosophy can be a powerful source of encouragement. Giving up your freedom five times. Giving up your freedom. People often think that giving up personal freedom in a relationship is one of the worst things that can happen to them. According to Stoic philosophy, this means giving up more than just short-term hobbies or habits. It means giving up one's freedom from the right to choose and the pursuit of independent happiness. In an ideal relationship, both people are free to do what they want, and the relationship grows together peacefully. Love is not about forcing your wants on the other person. It's about respecting and helping each other keep your independence and freedom. To do this, you need to really understand each other, be willing to have open conversations, set clear boundaries, and stick to those boundaries. For example, if someone is torn between love and career, Stoic philosophy, which is based on strong reasoning and sharp logic, says that the key to a healthy relationship is open and honest communication. In this dialogue, both people would look at the chances that come up to find ways to help each other grow as people without hurting the relationship. This not only makes the relationship stronger through respect and understanding, but it also encourages each person to keep their independence and freedom. Furthermore, this creates chances to face and deal with worries and fears about keeping the relationship going across long distances. By practicing trust and giving each other power, both individuals can learn to become more independent while still maintaining a healthy and supportive relationship. Stoic philosophy eventually encourages us to understand and value the importance of independence in relationships, stressing that upholding one's own identity and goals is a strong basis for real and lasting love. Sixth place performing an act to please her Seneca, a smart and stern philosopher. Making a promise to do something nice for her sends a strong message about how strong and important it is to protect the inner fortress that each of us builds. This fortress isn't just a metaphor for mental toughness. It also stands for freedom, autonomy, and courage, all of which we should value and work to develop in every choice and action we make. When we give up our own willpower or even our personal values to make other people happy, Especially in relationships, we unintentionally give up control of our own fortress. For example, someone might pass up good job opportunities not because they want to be happy for someone else, but because they want to make that person happy. Stoicism stresses finding a balance between your own happiness and caring about other people. The key is to never depend on other people or their deeds for your own happiness. Healthy relationships should be based on mutual respect and understanding, both in words and actions. If there's one thing that Stoicism wants to teach us, it's that independence is important. The inner fortress we build is not only a sign of mental strength, but also a reminder to stand firm when life throws us challenges. You honor yourself and those around you when you don't give up on your values, dreams, and personal freedom. If you think this message is important and could help other people, please like and share this video. By spreading the message of independence and personal freedom, you not only help us, but you also help other people find their inner strength. Putting her needs ahead of mine, putting her needs ahead of your own principles. Before we go on to important lesson number seven, let's take a moment to hear the story of Marcus, a man who loves drawing and has spent much of his life improving his skills and love for art. Marcus lives and breathes through every stroke of his brush, and he finds great joy in painting. But when he meets Anna, a woman who isn't interested in art and would rather do other things, his life starts to blur so that he can be happy and spend more time with her. Marcus gives up valuable studio time and lessens his involvement in the art community, missing out on much-anticipated exhibitions. Even though he does these things out of love and a desire to connect, they leave Marcus with an unfulfilled void because he has put Anna's wants and needs ahead of his own passion and principles. As a result, Marcus is unhappy and lost, 
and Anna is also uncomfortable and suspicious. Stoic philosophy tells us that staying true to oneself and one's beliefs is very important, especially in relationships. Marcus, in his desire to please others, has given up the most valuable thing a person can have. Autonomy, passion, and loyalty to one's beliefs. Stoicism not only tells us to keep our feelings, actions, and thoughts in check, but it also says we should never give up on these ideals. Marcus not only lost control, but he also stopped valuing himself and the person he loved. In a relationship, two people should respect each other and support each other. To be truly and long-lastingly happy, people need to be encouraged to follow their dreams and passions while still having a connection and love in their relationship. Relationships aren't about giving up oneself. They're about supporting each other's growth and respecting each other's independence and interdependence in a healthy way. To do this, both people need to understand, respect, and be willing to listen, not just hear what the other person says. To keep your self-respect and be happy, you must stick to your values and never give up your love for other people. The point of this story is to show us that taking care of yourself and respecting each other are the most important things for a good and happy relationship. Letting her, giving her the power to decide what makes you happy. People often look for happiness like a lighthouse in the dark, but a common mistake and one of the sneakiest traps is giving other people the power to define our happiness, especially in a relationship. Why shouldn't we let others do this? Stoicism teaches us to keep our emotions in check and not let outside changes affect our worth or happiness. When you let others, with any intent, define your happiness, you're setting yourself up for failure. Stoicism also tells us to strive for spiritual independence and to find peace and happiness within ourselves. When your happiness depends on someone else, you start living your life according to their rules and expectations instead of pursuing what gives your life true meaning and value. This is especially true in relationships, where it's important to remember that each person's values and principles are a solid base for freedom and happiness when you start to base your happiness on them. Take some time to think about what's important to you and what makes you passionate and alive. Learn new things, push yourself, and broaden your horizons to grow as a person. Finally, build relationships built on mutual respect and independence. In a healthy relationship, both partners agree to share and support each other, but not to depend on or define each other's happiness. It's a place where each person is urged to grow as a person and keep their own identity. A strong base for long-term happiness and growth. Happiness is not a place you get to. It's a path of self-awareness, independence, and mutual respect that starts when you stop letting other people control your life. Define our happiness and start seeing life through our own eyes. This will help us find the endless possibilities in ourselves and in life, as seen through the lens of Stoic philosophy. We talked about eight things guys should never do for women as a way to learn how to deal with relationships and as a way to teach self-control and strength. These lessons not only teach us to be honest and trustworthy in all relationships, but they also teach us that our own happiness and freedom should not rest on other people. We really value your opinion on these lessons. Maybe you were moved by one of the enduring principles we talked about. Or maybe you learned something important from this video. Whatever it was, we can't wait to hear from you. Please share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. Before we end, we'd like to encourage you to like and share this video with friends who you think would benefit from these lessons. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Everything you do makes the community stronger, so that stoic thought can help us deal with the problems we face in life. Without losing your cool, Keep watching the videos at the end of this one so you don't miss the journey of following Stoic philosophy. Remember that the key to happiness is inside you, and live each day with strength and self-control. Bye, and see you in the next movie.